The Ninjago movie has brought about many new and cool minifigures. In fact, there are so many minifigures that there is even a minifigure series. But which figures turn out to be the best? Today we are counting down our top 10 Ninjago movie minifigures. Please keep in mind that this is our opinions and that this list is not a ranking of just the minifigure series. At number 10, we have the N-Pop Girl. This figure is liked by many for the Unikitty reference along with the printing, but we personally don't really care for this figure. However, while we don't care for this figure, we do appreciate the amount of printing put on this figure. Also, the bear is pretty good. At number 9, we have Volcano Garmadon. This version of Garmadon comes with not only his helmet, but it also has the bowl and spoon pieces along with a pretty cool outfit with volcanoes printed all over it, giving it our number 9 spot. At number 8, we cheated a little and put two figures being Ed and Edna. These two figures are well known from the TV show since they have been in a good amount of episodes. These figures also come with different torsos from the TV shows that have some nice printings. The only downside is that they come in only one set being the Lightning Jet, which is a $60 set. If these two were in the minifigure series, they could possibly be much higher on this list. The Sushi Chef has taken the number 7 spot. The figure has great printing along with a nice headband. He also comes with the sushi tiles, which are awesome. His legs are also dual molded, but don't have any printing. But as a whole, this figure is definitely one of the better figures from the series. At number 6, we put Shark Army General number 1. She comes with a nice hairpiece along with fantastic printing on the legs, but what really pushes her up on this list is that she comes with a milkshake, which while unnecessary, is still pretty cool to have. The number 5 spot goes to Zane from the collectible minifigure series. While some may think Zane looks weird, we quite like how he looks, except for that smile. His torso is very cool because it has a reference to the Alien Conquest theme, which we both liked. So yes, there is some bias to this, but even if you don't like this figure, you have to admit, the torso printing is very good. And that smile. At number 4, we have Nia from the Ninjago City Chase Set. The version of Nia is very different from other versions we have seen of her through the years. The printing on the torso is good on the jacket, while the striped shirt is a little generic. But what really sells it is the leg printing. The rips on her jeans help make this figure more realistic, but also helps to give Nia an edgy vibe which she never really had in the TV show. The only downside is that she doesn't come in the minifigure series, but still a worth a figure. At number 3, we put the ninja version of Lloyd from the minifigure series. Now, if this list was just ranking the minifigure series, we would not have put him at a high number like this since he comes in other sets and isn't original. However, since this is a list of all the minifigures, this choice has some justification. This version of Lloyd comes with everything, the hair, the sword, and the ninja hood, along with a blueprint of his dragon. If this series did not have Lloyd, the cheapest way to get him would be his dragon set, which is $50. Because of this, Lloyd from the minifigure series all of a sudden starts to look really good, bringing him to the number 3 spot. At number 2 we have Jay Walker. This version of Jay is very nice including the hairpiece that is desired by many along with a nice scarf and a decent looking shirt. He also comes with a selfie stick which is awesome along with the printing of Jay's selfie. At number 1 we have Garmadon with his robes. This is the best version of Garmadon we have gotten. He has his hat and armor, which we think are both fantastic pieces, along with great printing on both the armor and the torso. 
Because of this, Garbodon has taken our number one spot on the list. Remember to comment below your top 10 Ninjago movie minifigures, as I'm sure many of you will have different opinions on these figures. Also, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit the like button to show us that you want more videos like this. But until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.